Overall in Oakville, they have decreased in comparison to last year, but there is a, f a few trends that we would still like to remain, uh, remind the public of. Uh, overall, about 85% of our break-ins are to unlocked vehicles. And we have noticed that the thieves have targeted uh, wallets where credit cards and debit cards have used. Uh, the tap function will be used to make fraudulent purchases, as well as in some instances, uh, uh, car fobs and keys have been left in the vehicle and the vehicle has been stolen. We want to work with the public. Uh, crime prevention is a shared responsibility. Uh, a few simple steps uh, can protect their property. We would ask uh, members of the public to please lock their vehicles when they're not attended, um, to remove anything valuable from your vehicle, and to make sure that they're in possession of their key fobs. We hope uh, that the messaging that we've been sent out uh, over the course of the year, reminding the public to please lock their vehicles, uh, has been received. Um, again, they are down, but we still uh, have investigated approximately 135 this year. And so because approximately 85% of the uh, break-ins are to unlock vehicles, uh, we would like to remind the public to uh, lock up their car. And these are relatively non-violent offenses, and uh, I think that's why you see a decrease in the other types of offenses that we investigate, such as robberies and break-ins. Um, these specific types of offenses, the break-ins to cars, we think are preventable, uh, a lot of them anyways. And so, again, we just want to get that messaging out there.